We're going to do a video of the model FB50, firebox on the bottom, 5 foot wide, has 3 racks in it. Bottom rack is 30 inches wide, 5 foot in length. Middle rack is 26 inch wide, 5 foot in length. And top rack is 23 inches wide, 5 foot in length. This here has a few options on it. It has an insulated firebox. has two burners in the firebox, LP burners. and also has a 110 AC electric assisted door. No more lifting heavy doors. No more counterbalances. Counterbalances, of course, work. But most of them I've seen will open the door, but then you have to use force to close it. So made me want to make it a little bit easier, just touch the button. So here you go, and we can add this to any smoker lid. All I have to do is prefab a new jib for the motor and uh, set you right up. So if there's another unit I have, check me out on YouTube. You can Google me or search box MLJ963. Check out my other smokers and videos. Also build concession traders. Or you can email me at MLJ963 at gmail.com. Firebox here has two burners in it. And yes, you can use charcoal wood in these boxes too. Uh, just something that I add to it. Myself, I like to use gas charcoal over there. Put me an iron skillet with some wood right there to get some good hickory or cherry flavor. And uh, got plenty of heat. This is insulated. There's two boxes, an inner box and an outer box. Sandwich in between is insulation. This is a T design. I mean, the firebox is right there. The opening comes up through it. It's got like a 12 inch opening. It's got a baffle that runs a full length there. It keeps the heat and smoke from going directly onto the meat. It directs it down to this end and up. It has to work its way across the meat and out the stack. This one here don't have a stack yet because it's going onto a concession trader. Plenty of room in there for a whole hog. You take them two top racks out. And here's how the door works. First of all, I want to stress safety. So when you're up underneath this, use your prop right here. Put it on that to prop it up. Release the pressure back down on it. This has a brake on it. I just uh, don't like to trust mechanical things like that. Put a prop under it and you know you're not going to get hurt. Now how cool is that? This is a 110 volt. You need a 10 amp circuit. I can put DC on it, you'll have to run it off a battery, and they're a little bit noisy. Entertain your guests at your banquets, catering events, or just in the backyard having a cold one. Family would like that too. Kids don't need to be playing with it, of course. One more time. No more left than heavy lids for us old folks. Enough work just cooking in these hot machines, let alone have to lift the heavy lids. So, if you're interested in one of these, give me an email. If you're interested in another unit I may have, we can add this to that too. To the round units, doesn't matter. Just have to build a new jib for the motor there custom fab it to whatever unit you want to buy thank you for watching have a great day